The NFL, full of spectacular plays, wild outcomes, and downright out-of-pocket storylines. So the question that arrives from this madness, is it scripted? Yes. Thanks to the help of ChatGPT, a story-building AI which makes my intelligence look like a brick, this bot will create and predict NFL scripts for the future seasons, so Roger Goodell will have a little less on his plate. So let's begin the start of next NFL season, in the year 2023. So here we go. Once upon a time, the 2023 NFL season was set to begin on the most exciting seasons yet. With all 32 teams preparing for a fresh start, every team had high hopes in the year ahead. The preseason started with a bang as several teams made major acquisitions through trades and free agency. The defending Super Bowl champions, the Green Bay Packers, continued to show their dominance winning their first three preseason games with ease. Wow, very impressive feat. Jordan Love won all three preseason games. However, their biggest challenge would come from the rising powerhouse of the league, the San Francisco 49ers. Even the AI knows what's up. Throughout the rest of the season, the Packers continued to dominate with their offensive led by quarterback Aaron Rodgers and their defense anchored by pass rusher Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack on the Packers, wow. However, the Niners remain close behind with their own star quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, leading the charge with their own star quarterback, in quotations. As the season progressed, several other teams began to make their presence felt. The New England Patriots, led by their quarterback Cam Newton, they gave him a second shot, are you kidding me? As the regular season came to a close, the playoffs began with a series of thrilling matchups. In the end, the top four teams, the Packers, Niners, Patriots, and Chiefs, advanced to the conference championships, setting the stage for two unforgettable games. The first game, the NFC Championship saw the Packers and Niners battle out in a classic showdown. Yeah, this really is. I wonder who's going to win it, too. I mean, Packers and the NFC Championship... With both teams evenly matched, the game came down to the final minutes with the Packers coming out on top to advance the Super Bowl. What? In the other game, the AFC Championship, the Patriots and the Chiefs faced off in a high-scoring affair. In the end, the Chiefs emerged victorious, securing their place in the Super Bowl to take on the Packers. The 2023 Super Bowl was a battle for the ages, with both teams leaving everything on the field. In the end, the Packers, led by the brilliant play of Aaron Rodgers, emerged as the champions, winning their second Super Bowl in three years and cementing their place as one of the greatest teams in NFL history. So the Green Bay Packers have won the Super Bowl in 2023 apparently, and Rodgers stays with the Packers. So now that we're going into 2024, I want them to write me an offseason story for 2023 to see if we get some big trades. One of the biggest stories of the offseason was the quarterback carousel. Several top quarterbacks were set to hit free agency and teams were eager to acquire their services. The biggest name in the market was reigning Super Bowl MVP Aaron Rodgers. No! Why would he leave? He was doing so good, they just won the Super Bowl. Several teams were in the running for Rodgers, including the San Francisco 49ers, what? Who were set seeking to replace their aging quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo? Their aging quarterback and Jimmy Garoppolo, you're gonna replace him with another aging quarterback? That makes sense. In the end, the 49ers emerged as a winner, signing Rodgers to a massive contract and instantly becoming one of the favorites to win the Super Bowl. What is this? Rodgers already said while playing golf, he's not going to the Niners. Not going to San Fran. Another quarterback who made headlines was former MVP Cam Newton. Wow, I haven't heard that since 2015. Who was seeking a new team after a disappointing season of the New England Patriots. Newton signed with the Dallas Cowboys, who are looking to reinvigorate their offense. Ooh, wow, that's big. The offseason also saw several big-name players changing teams through trades and free agency. The reigning Super Bowl champions, the Green Bay Packers, made several moves to bolster their defense, including the acquisition of Pro Bowl defensive tackle Vita Vea. Meanwhile, the Kansas City Chiefs, who were seeking to repeat as AFC champions, acquired several weapons for their high-powered offense, including wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster. Did they not already have him before? With the regular season just around the corner, fans were eager to see how the moves made during the offseason would translate on the field and who would emerge as the top contenders for the Super Bowl. And that's exactly what we'll be answering here. We'll be going into 2024. The preseason saw usual suspects competing for supremacy with the 49ers led by Rodgers and the Kansas City Chiefs led by quarterback Mahomes, both looking like strong contenders for the Super Bowl. However, there were also several dark horse teams that made a strong push, including the Dallas Cowboys, remember Cam Newton is their quarterback now, and the New England Patriots, who are still good. 49ers, with their high-powered offense and dominant defense, quickly established themselves as a team to beat, winning their first eight games with ease. However, the biggest surprise of the season came from the Baltimore Ravens, who led their rookie quarterback, Lamar Jackson. What? Okay, so apparently Lamar Jackson just lost three years of his life. In the end, the top four teams, the Niners, Chiefs, Packers, and Ravens, advanced to the conference championships. In the first game, the NFC Championship, the Niners and Packers are back in a rematch, and the Niners came out on top to advance to the Super Bowl. Finally, something's right. The only problem here is that Rodgers is now in the 49ers, so Rodgers made it to his second straight 
Super Bowl. And in the AFC Championship, the Chiefs and Ravens faced off in a high-scoring affair. In the end, the Chiefs emerged victorious, securing their place in the Super Bowl to take on the 49ers. So we have a Chiefs 49ers Super Bowl rematch. The 2024 Super Bowl was a battle for the ages with both teams leaving everything on the field. In the end, the 49ers led with a brilliant play of Aaron Rodgers emerged as the champions, winning their first Super Bowl in 20 years and submitting their place to one of the greatest teams in NFL history. Wow, so Rodgers has won back-to-back -back Super Bowls with the Packers and 49ers, okay. The 2024 NFL offseason was one of the most exciting in recent memory. Okay, good start. One of the biggest storylines was the quarterback carousel. We heard this exact same line last time. With several top signal callers in the move, the most notable move was the trade of reigning MVP Aaron Rodgers. What is up with Aaron Rodgers? Why is he just getting tossed around right now? He was traded from the Niners to the Raiders. Okay, we're starting to make a little bit sense here now. This was a shock to fans and analysts alike and sent ripples through the league as teams scrambled to make moves of their own. Another big move came when the Dallas Cowboys signed free agent quarterback Kirk Cousins. Okay, so they've already moved on from Cam Newton, apparently. There were also several big-name players who switched teams through free agency, including wide receiver Juju Smith-Schuster, who signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and tight end Rob Gronkowski, who made a comeback and signed with the New England Patriots. Finally, man, we are getting these things right in the money. I want to start speeding this up now, so I'm going to ask them to write me a story, but instead of just doing one year... I want to do like the next five years. In 2026, several young quarterbacks made a splash, including Justin Fields, who was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers, and Trevor Lawrence, who was drafted by the Jacksonville Jaguars. Apparently, they're just getting held back in the NFL terms, and they just have to get redrafted every year. The 2027 season was dominated by the New England Patriots, who acquired quarterback Tom Brady in a trade with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Okay, so Brady came out of retirement. It's the year 2027. So if I'm doing the math right, Brady is 45 years right now. So this is four years from now Brady would be 49 years old he came out of retirement and he's back on the Patriots who was entering his 40s no he's actually closer to his 50s now prove that he still what it takes to lead a team to the Super Bowl and earn his sixth championship ring in what may be considered one of the greatest seasons in NFL history okay well he actually has seven right now so that means he won his eighth championship ring in the year 2027 He's 49 years old. In 2028, the NFL saw a new wave of talented players emerge with several exciting young prospects making a big impact in the league. Running backs Travis Etienne and Chuba Hubbard, as well as wide receiver CeeDee Lamb, quickly established themselves as the top players in the league, and their electrifying play made the NFL even more exciting to watch. Okay, all we gotta know about 2028. The 2029 season was marked by several coaching changes, as several teams looked to shake things up and get over the hump. New head coaches brought fresh ideas and new approaches, and several teams made deep playoff runs, including the Seattle Seahawks, who made it all the way to the Super Bowl with the help of quarterback Russell Wilson. Why are we going back to him? We don't need to be doing that. In 2030, the NFL saw several players reach new heights with several dominant performances and record-breaking seasons. The year was also marked by the retirement of several legends, including Tom Brady, who decided to call it a career after an unforgettable season of the New England Patriots. So in this universe, Brady retires in 2030, and he would be how old? That means Brady would be 52 years old by the time he retires in 2030. Okay, that was pretty funny, so I'm going to make him do that again, but this time for the next 10 seasons. So we're going to the year 2040 now. Okay, the next 10 years, let's go. In 2031, the NFL was dominated by the Miami Dolphins, who acquired quarterback Patrick Mahomes in a trade with the Chargers. Mahomes already established himself as one of the top quarterbacks in the lead, led the Dolphins to their first Super Bowl victory in over 20 years. The 2032 season was marked by several exciting new faces, including quarterback Lamar Jackson, who was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, that happened like 20 years ago. The 2033 NFL season was dominated by the New Orleans Saints, who acquired quarterback Drew Brees in a trade with the Miami Dolphins. Are you kidding me? Drew Brees is over here collecting his pensions and social securities right now. This makes no sense. It says Brees was entering the twilight of his career. No shit he was. He led the Saints to the Super Bowl where they defeated the Patriots in a thrilling championship game. 2035 season was dominated by the Seahawks, who acquired quarterback Russell Wilson and traded the Dolphins. I thought he was already on the Seahawks. He was entering the prime of his career. His prime of the career was in 2012. That was over 20 years ago. No, he's not in his prime of career in 2035. He led the Seahawks to another Super Bowl and they beat the Steelers in a thrilling championship game. Okay, Russell Wilson's apparently really good in this. In 2036, the NFL saw several young quarterbacks make a big impact, including Sam Darnold, drafted of the New York Jets, and Daniel Jones. 
One of those I can see may be possible, but Sam Darnold in 2036, I mean, he'll probably be flipping burgers at that point. 2039 was dominated by the LA Rams, who acquired Jared Goff in a trade with the Washington football team. Okay, the biggest news of this so far is that Washington Commanders changed their name back for the better, and they changed it to the football team. That is a great move right here. I cannot wait to the year 2039. The 2040 season was marked by the retirement of several legends, including Patrick Mahomes, who decided to call it a career after an unforgettable season with the Miami Dolphins. So much just happened right there. Cam Newton went back to the Patriots. Apparently, Washington football team exists again. Rams moved to the AFC. Mahomes retires but we haven't done enough. We're at 2040. We're going to 2050 now. Okay, 2041. The NFL is dominated by the Kansas City Chiefs who acquired quarterback Deshaun Watson. Drop it already, man. We don't need to see him anymore. 2043. The NFL is dominated by the Pittsburgh Steelers who acquired quarterback... No. Shut up. Tom Brady is back, man. It's 2043. He's 45 years right now. This is in 20 years. A 65-year-old man. He's 65 years old. Of course he's in the twilight of his career. No, he's not even in his career anymore. He should be on the Fox Broadcast Center next to Terry Bradshaw. Jesus, dude. Led the Steelers to the Super Bowl where they defeated the New York Giants in a thrilling championship game. <sighs> Tom Brady won another ring. Was he up to nine rings in this now? And he's 65 years old. I mean, Jesus, dude. He wants his grandkids to be millionaires as well. This is just insane. The 2044 season was marked with the rise of several talented young players, including Travis Etienne and Quiddy Pay. Okay. 2046, Justin Fields was drafted by the Chicago Bears again. Justin Fields has been drafted 20 times in this video. The 2049 season was dominated by the Steelers again, who acquired quarterback Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> Trade the Colts. What? <laughs> Roethlisberger ought to be like 70 years old at this point. As the 2050 season approached, the NFL was filled with excitement. I wouldn't really be excited about this, to be honest, because all we see is Tom Brady come back. Who knows? I'm going to simulate to the year 2100. Let's see if Brady is still playing, or better yet, even alive. In the year 2100, the NFL has evolved into a completely different beast from what it was just a century earlier. With advances in technology and changes in the way that people consume sports, the NFL has become a truly global phenomenon, with fans turning in or tuning in from all corners of the world to watch the world's best athletes compete. The game of football has changed as well, with players now equipped with advanced exosuits that enhance their strength, speed, and agility. Okay, so our players are out here playing Black Ops 3 now. This is really cool. One of the biggest changes in the NFL was the creation of the Virtual Reality Bowl, a championship game played entirely in virtual reality. Fans from all over the world could experience the game from the perspective of their favorite players with the game's outcome determined by a combination of real-life athleticism and virtual skill. One of the most exciting players of the 2100 season was quarterback Terrell Bradley, a dynamic dual-threat player who's taken the league by storm. Okay, so this AI can create new names. I don't know why it hasn't been doing that the whole time. Another exciting player was running back Jasmine Ramirez, who was known for his blazing- For- wait, wait, what? For her blazing speed! Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first woman in the NFL, apparently. It only took the NFL 77 years, man. This is groundbreaking. Jasmine Ramirez, who is known for her blazing speed and her ability to make defenders miss in the open field. Ramirez quickly became one of the NFL's most popular players, and her electrifying runs were a highlight of each week's games. Oh my goodness. I mean, I don't know what's crazier, just the virtual reality bowl or a woman in the NFL. As the 2100 season reached its climax, the NFL championship game was a showdown between Bradley's teams, the Dallas Cowboys, and Ramirez's team, the New York Giants. Okay, they switched conferences apparently. The game was a classic with both teams exchanging big plays and thrilling moments. In the end, the Cowboys emerged victorious with Bradley leading his team to a championship in the first season as a starting quarterback. The Dallas Cowboys have won the Super Bowl, and it only took them to 2,100. I need to know more about this Jasmine Ramirez girl. Yeah, it says here Ramirez would get over 1,500 rushing yards and 15 touchdowns her rookie season and get Rookie of the Year honors. <laughs> She finished her career with another 1,500-yard rushing campaign, leading her team to playoffs and earning yet another trip to the Pro Bowl. Wow, who wants to go to the Pro Bowl in the year 2,100? In the year 3,000, the rules of the game have also changed. Gone are the days of three downs and a punt. Now teams had four downs to advance the ball 10 yards and they failed to do so the option to go for in fourth down or kick a field goal. Isn't that how it already is? I mean, we've taken a 1,000 years to do nothing. 
where the event of virtual reality technology fans can now experience the game in a completely immersive way. They could put on a VR headset and feel as if they were right on the field surrounded by players in the action. This was especially popular with younger fans who love being able to get up close and personal with their favorite players. Don't give this feature to Deshaun Watson. Well, there you have it everyone. Uh, I can't wait to see what happens in the year 3000 in the NFL. I know I'll be alive to see it. So will my boy Tom Brady as he will still be playing in the year 3000 as well. He'll be my favorite player of course. Uh, but yeah, AI predicts the next 1,000 years, sure. I don't know. This has gone out of hand. I'm sorry. I got to end it here.